Toy insanity. Where cats can get a treat. Hey, listen up. Happy National Pizza Day and Toy Insanity. This is National Pizza Day, February 9th. I just looked it up. I've done like eight pizzas, or I think this is eight, but it's the third that we've done on National Pizza Day. Two years ago, we explored the complete and thorough history of Domino's, including getting their secret menu pizzas. We talked about the Noid incident of 1989. Last year, we explored the complete and thorough history of Pizza Hut. This year, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese's, okay? Not really, but we went to Walmart because, listen, apparently there's still some physical locations around. But the nearest one to me is like an hour away or something. 500 free e-tickets. Uh, but listen, uh, Walmart came in clutch, I guess, with this $7 Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Most importantly, since we last spoke, the retro Chuck E. Cheese, Mr. Charles Entertainment Cheese, Funko Pop was released. Where a kid can be a kid. See, look, I'll tell you a little Mandela effect or something. I always thought they said where a kid can be a king. Chuck E. Cheese is where a kid can be a king. Because I'm like, in my little uh, insanity infant brain, I'm like, why would some, why why would you say where a kid can be a kid? A kid's already a kid. I want to go somewhere a kid can be a king. And it ain't Burger King. Maybe it's Chuck E. Cheese's. But, you know, full disclosure, I've never been. Okay, about 10 years ago, I walked into one because I wanted to see the band. I just wanted to see the band I had always heard about. Henny Penny and Munch and uh, Pasquale there. I just walked into one. I felt real uncomfortable, but they didn't have the band anyway. So they didn't have a band in, uh, you know, 2014-ish. So I just walked straight out. Uh, but I don't, I don't know anyone. I don't know any child in my uh, cohort that ever went to one anyway. Oh, uh, let me cook this up. And then uh, I'll, I'll give you some complete and thorough history of Chuck E. Cheese, C-E-C. I'm... <laughs> What, what temperature do I need? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and we'll eat a frozen Chuck E. Cheese's Paces. BRB. Oh, here it is. An officially licensed Pepe Ronnie pizza from Walmart. National Pizza Day, February 9th, 2024. Cooked to perfection. Oh, yeah, there's a thumbnail. Buzzy gonna be in the thumbnail? Buzzy. Well, it hasn't cooled. It has not cooled at all. Five hundred free e tickets. Just like every other frozen pizza. What is that green stuff? Huh. Anyway, Chuck E. Cheese was created in 1977. The dude operated a bar. Okay. First thing to realize about Chuck E. Cheese. This whole thing was created for adults in 77. So the dude had a bar and he served pizza at his bar for adults and he wanted an animatronic, a wisecracking animatronic to kind of do comedic crowd work and you know, uh, poke fun at the patrons and stuff. And he ordered, <sighs> so what? He tried to order a coyote, a coyote. A coyote. Because he was in California. And, you know, if you've ever been to California, there's coyotes everywhere. And it was going to be, you know, called 
Chuck the Coyote or something. But he ordered the animatronic. It was a wall-mounted animatronic. He ordered it, and it did not look like a coyote. He said it looked like a rat. And he was going to, like, well, okay, well, whatever. I can't, apparently he couldn't get a refund. So he's just going to name it Ricky Rats, which is what I named my uh, Mickey Mouse parody. Screamboat Willie uh, back in the day. But anyway, his wife was like, no one's going to eat at a pizza joint bar named after a rat. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to call it a mouse. Chuck E. Cheese, Charles Entertainment Cheese was born. And then, you know, the first hiccup, this other dude was going to like license. Because apparently it was a success. The adult bar patrons liked uh, being made fun of by an animatronic. This other dude was going to license a Chuck E. Cheese franchise type deal. and But I think the Chuck E. Cheese dude wanted too much money. So he was like, all right, bet. I'm going to just be your competitor. He created Showbiz Pizza. Okay, the band, the core band members here were formed in uh, 1980. But then the other dude that created Showbiz Pizza, he's like, I'm not going to have wall-mounted animatronics. I'm going to get some full-size animatronics. And I want to make my joint a little more aimed at children. Bert, did you put poop on my pizza? A little more aimed at children. Because, you know, the children wanted to go to, they wanted to come see this band. Original core members, Munch, Chef Pasquale, and Helen Henney. All right. This is what they did to my boy. I didn't even realize it was Jasper Giles. That's what they did to my boy Jasper Giles. So one, two, three. He's the purple monster. I guess he's the same species as Grimace. This is called Bella Bunny. They added her in 2018. <coughs> but the band itself was from 1980. I did the puzzle, or the maze. I did the maze in case you were struggling for the maze. It's Willie Alert. There's a solution to the maze. What else happened? Well, you know, there's been some controversies. First controversy was people claiming that they recycled their pizza. Uh, they had they had to make a statement to say that was definitively not true. The next controversy was, you know, during the during the big sneeze, uh, they opened they they put something on like called Chef Pasquale's, right? Because he's the drummer. It's called Munch's Band, though. He's a keyboard player. Oh, but listen, Chef, people were like, you know, I want to support this local business called Chef Pasquale's and order pizza. And little did they know they were just getting a showbiz pizza. Ghost Kitchen style. I think that's funny. And then the current or most recent controversy, I think, is just all the fights. I don't know who goes to... Chuck E. Cheese. Apparently, a lot of adults get in the fights here. I guess they never stop serving alcohol. But anyway, I think that's about all I got for you. I told you my uh, Mandela effect, right? I swear. Where a kid can be a king makes so much more sense. I can be a, a kid can be a kid at home, right? If you're going to go somewhere with a mascot, you're going to go somewhere where your parents are going to spend all this money. You want to feel like a king, don't you? I don't know. It, it, it just, it, I was basically today years old when I realized it's where a kid can be a kid. I should be everywhere. Where a kid can be a king. You're treated like royalty. I'm telling you, it makes so much more sense. Uh, but we've done some pizzas around here in addition to... Domino's Pizza Hut. We did the uh, we did the viral corn cob pizzas from Little Sneezers. We made a marshmallow pizza once. We made a chia pizza once. We put pizza in my world famous blue sauce. We made cheesy Charlie's pizza snot corn. And we even had some 7-Eleven pizzas. Some 7-Eleven $3.14 pizza one year on National Pie Day. Well, this concludes... <clears throat> it's still so hot. This concludes National Pizza Day 2024. Chuck E. Cheese.
Chuck E. Cheese's. Represent. Thumbs up. Goodbye.